Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Laid Back365 coming to you live from the district with another sneaker review. Before I get into the sneaker review, I must tell you how I lucked up and got me a pair of these beautiful Dornbecker 9s, man. All right? Mr. RSVP. All right? Um, I'm, I often miss the RSVP. I'm not a tech dude. I, I suck at doing RSVPs and trying to get stuff online. It's not my it's not my cup of tea. I, I suck at it. You know what I'm saying? I am one of the most sorriest motherfuckers when it comes to trying to get something online. So I kinda knew I was gonna miss out on it. Missed out on it. But I figured that okay, everyone's not gonna come and pick up their sneakers. So I go there the night of the the release, which was eight o'clock, you know, where it got out that they were going to be releasing them at 8 for those that didn't pick them up. Uh, so I went there. We waited. There was a few people waiting around. Like, you know, they was kind of hip to what was going on. And then the manager comes out and says, uh, we're not going to be releasing these at all. Me, when I, hear, when I hear something like that, I just leave. You know, others stuck around asking why, you know, crying and complaining. I said, you know what, let me go ahead. You know, this is not for me to get. If I really, really want to get them, I'll just get them later on down the road. So... I said, fuck it. Next day, the uh, DC, um, Dunk Exchange, DC, went to that um, around 2, maybe 2 o'clock. Uh, stayed for about an hour, you know, supported, you know, supported the people that were selling stuff, little vendors, grabbed a couple of things. Um, it was kind of dead. It was quiet, you know, so I left. Uh, got stuck in traffic. I said, you know what? I'm cruising around the city, so I might as well, you know, stop by, you know, my lo my local shops. Um, with the Georgetown Nike, not even thinking about the Dorn Beckonize at all. Um, going there, you know, just looking looking at sneakers or whatever. I go upstairs, looking around, looking around, and I seen the I seen a young dude that worked there that helped me out, you know, getting my fuel band. Um, the day they released, I mean, the um, the day Nike DC opened. So, talking to him, and, and then it just popped in my head. I was like, "So you know what's going on with the Dornberger Nas?" He was like, "Nah, man, I don't even know. I don't know at all." And so I figured there was gonna be a tweet or something sent out. So I don't know why, but something just made me ask ask him about it. And he was like, "I don't know. I don't know." And it's right after I asked him, he's like, "Hold on," you know. He grabbed his earpiece and was like, uh, "I think they just said something about the Dornberger Nas, man." I was like, "Okay, bet." He was like, yeah, man, just go downstairs, ask about him, see if you can get him. So as I'm going down the escalator, him and a, a him and a young female says, no, 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 they're up here. They're up here. Now, I'm halfway up the es going down the escalator, and I, I, you know, I didn't turn back around. I said, you know what, let me just go down the escalator. Went down the escalator, came back up, and I was like, what's up, man? Where they at? He was like, go right here in the corner. You know, it was a, it was a dude that worked there, you know, with one little pillar with a Dornbecker 9 sitting on it, you know what I'm saying? And I I, I swear I think I've seen it glow. It was just like a ah, type moment. And I'm like, hey, can I get a Dornbecker 9? He was like, what size you need? I was like, a 10 and a half. He was like, we don't have a 10 and a half. I was like, well, 11 then. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, motherfucker, give me a shoe. I don't give a fuck really what size you got, you know? Maybe I can trade it for someone. And uh, he was like, okay, I got 11. Calls the air. He's like, "What's your name? What's your name, sir?" Told him, you know what I'm saying. Told him my name. You know, he he goes on his airpiece and he was like, "Such and such is um getting a pair of Dornbecker nines. I'm about to send them down." So I got escorted down and got my Dornbecker nines. Man, that's my, my that's my story on how I got them. Hope you liked it. Now let's get into the sneaker. Here we have the Dornbecker nine. Uh, Dornbecker. Um, Children's Hospital Foundation uh, does an annual sneaker, and all proceeds go to the fund, the foundation, which I think is awesome. On top of of the sneakers that they let out, this young man Oswald Jimenez, salute to you, brother. You killed this sneaker, man. He really did. He did his thing. The young gentleman um, suffers from uh, pulmonary hypertension. Um, but he got he got the chance to actually design the sneaker, man, and he did a great job with it. You started with the outsole. You have green, and on this one, you have red, red and white, green and 
white, which represents um, the Mexican flag. You know, he's really big on his heritage, which I think is awesome for someone being so young. All right. You got your gold jump, man. One of Mr. Jimenez's favorite colors. You have another gold jump, man. Got black, midsole. You got this laser feathered um, mud guard going all the way around to the heel. You have his favorite number 17. You have gold plated Jordan Jumpman logo. You have Jimenez in Old English, which is his last name. And you have Osmaldo, Oswaldo in Old English on the other. You have Polito, which is his nickname in Spanish, which means little chicken on the out tongue. You have his birthday, September 13th on the end side of the tongue. You got your gold lace locks. You have your thin your thin um your thin shoe strings. Also, which I think is dope that my um one of my good buddies let me know what was going on. I didn't know. But it has a beautiful 3M as you can see right there on the upper we have contrasted gold stitching throughout the whole upper beautiful sneaker man so beautiful the young man did a great job You also have gold insoles, representing his favorite color, one of his favorite colors. And you have a chicken, representing his nickname, Polito. So, all in all, a beautiful sneaker, man. Also, if you're not following me on Twitter, Instagram, you're missing out. All right, I've been putting up pieces of um, my luxury wear, my luxury collection from YSL to uh, to Gucci. So, um, check my Instagram, check my Twitter uh, for available pieces left, all right? Also, make sure you stay tuned because me, myself, and the homie Dove Step should have something coming up for Christmas for you guys. Some form of a giveaway, giveaway all right? It's your boy laid back. Keep your sneakers clean.